Eco Training is a company we've been around for 26 years. Uh, we're very humbled to have played a part in the training of nature guides for the Southern African and East African industry. Training was um, established to feed the industry with uh, professional uh, nature guides and safari guides and since then we've grown into offering various courses all over Africa from the Masai Mara to Mashatu in Botswana, Akaleki, Pafuri, Salati, Karongwe and our Pridelands, this wonderful property which is now open to the Kruger National Park right, right next to Hoodsprout. very excited to reach people in their hearts and minds with not just knowledge but an understanding, the love and appreciation of nature and try and have a call, call to action by, by any means for people to be more um, aware and responsible of the environment around us. You know, I, I started out as a, as a student, you know, not really knowing what to do, done a whole bunch of jobs in my life, and then I did a course of the eco-training in 2010, it was a 28-day course, and it changed my whole perspective of what I wanted out of a career, out of life. And, you know, 10 years later, I've come full circle, and I've now become an instructor for the last few years, and it's been such a rewarding experience. We're sitting at Pridelands right now and it's, it's the newest of the eco-training camps and it's for me the most exciting because going from its roots as a sort of farming area to now being part of the Greater Kruger National Park, it's like a full 180 turnaround from what it used to be. There's a whole bunch of different camps that eco-training has and they're all pretty incredible for different reasons. For example, the camp that we're in right now, Pride Lands, there's elephants coming to the waterhole right next to us, which is incredible. And it happens every single day almost. So this kind of camp, rustic, not easy. You're gonna get back to roots, back to basics with our camps, which is what we really want. We wanna connect ourselves with nature. It opens your eyes and you have close encounters with animals, which is incredible. Yeah, this camp is crazy. It's an awesome place. We had the other day the leopard with two cubs that came like right at the end, which was just out of the blue. It happens probably a couple times a week. We get lions or leopards just popping into our waterhole. It can get interesting for our students, that's for sure. You have to always keep them on their toes. EcoQuest, which are one week long, then we do 28 day courses, which are more like enthusiast game ranger courses. We do a 55 day course, which is a qualification course, but for people who don't have a lot of time on their hands and just want to try and get into it. And then there's the one year uh, apprentice field guide course, which covers absolutely everything. Courses can be whatever you want, really, in, in essence. You can build and mix and match your course to suit you. What I love about wildlife is that it's so unpredictable and it's so fragile and to be a part of nature is to nurture nature, is to look after it and is to be sensible and sensitive about how things are around us and it's incredible that we get to share this wonderful environment with these animals and learn from them um, as, well, as well as about them. I think we don't do enough learning from animals.
So the reason why I came to um, know about eco-training was when I was doing a volunteering program in Botswana, I met the French girl who was the guide there for me and she told me about the eco-training course. That's how I actually became to know about it. Definitely location why eco-training is the best and then also the year-long course you get to learn from the multiple different instructors. They are all, you know, just the phenomenal instructors. And I think my most favorite part of all this whole year was I would say definitely the backup trails course. And that's the time I realized that I love walking. It's quite different from doing the guiding from the vehicle and from the walking. And through this doing the backup trails course, I get to, I don't know, feel like to start liking the bush in a different level even. And then I really, very, very enjoy it learning from walking with all these instructors on foot. And I, yeah, I definitely think the trail course was one of the most um, amazing experience. I did it in Botswana in the Mashatu, and it's just amazing location to be able to walk in. Yeah, definitely. So any um, camp, you will have all these exciting moments of these animals, especially elephants in Selati, in Makaleki, oh, actually Kalongwe too, actually everywhere, I guess. It's, it's always has a lot of exciting things happening at the camp because it's unfenced. It's very important for eco-training to talk about conservation or teach about conservation to the future guys because those field guys will be the one to, you know, convey the message to lots more people, you know, they will be the one to take all these different people from all around the world. I always wanted to live in the bush. I always dreamed about being part of the conservations and I found out that being as a field guide is one of the way to get involved in the conservations because I can talk a lot about this kind of conservation side to the people who has no idea about like people in Japan and I can make use of my Japanese language skills as well. So that's the reason why I like doing what I do right now. Jumping onto all these courses might change your life so yeah I recommend it very much. We wanted to have some more self-determination so that we could fully liberate and emancipate the potential of what ECA training is about. Um, I believe we've uh, gained a lot of uh, good standing in the industry in Southern and East Africa for training guides, but there's a whole world out there and I want to be able to reach the whole world with an environmental awareness. Uh, we have universities coming from the UK and America and people from all over the world coming and doing courses with us. We want to make sure that we can deliver those courses in a uh, conducive area and Pridelands is certainly that.